Hey there guys, my name is Fanny Strong and today I'm going to do quite an advanced tutorial. Um, one of my subs asked me to do a tutorial on the wireframe motion track uh, transformation in this edit. And uh, I have quite a good idea how he did it and I have a good idea how to make it look pretty awesome. So let's just get into it. What you're going to need, first of all, it's Cinema 4D. You're going to need to make a MoGraph MoText. And just need to let this load up. Okay, and I'm just, I'm just going to type in FNT. Okay, I'm going to change my font to something more awesome. So let's use Drewer because it's awesome. Go to Caps, go to Fiddler Cap on both of them. And then we'll leave that for now. Make the depth bigger if you want to. So I'm just going to, leave, I'm just going to put 50. Okay, now you need a plugin called Throwsheet. So go to Plugins, Throwsheet, uh, and just drag it on. Set the pieces to about 50. Actually, no, you want the piece to be pretty big. So I'm going to make it like 40. And just click Brick Now. And it will rapid firely break them because I have a fast computer. And uh, yeah, so let's just let this finish. And once it's done, it will just automatically close. Okay, so now it's done. Okay, now I can just drag this over. And now what I want to do is just drag all these uh, little thrushy things at the top. Go to File, Export, Wavefront.obj. Put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it FNT Text Tut. Okay, and I can make it 10 centimeters. Okay, save this uh, file and just delete it, and then no, oh, just close it. Sorry. Then I have a, um, a little thingy in a little motion track. Sorry, in After Effects already. So I'm gonna make a new solid. Call this element. Okay, can't type. There we go. Go to Effect Video Copilot Element. Go to uh, the video clip. Duplicate it. And I'm just making the environment layer right now, as I always do. And I'm just gonna freeze frame. You guys know, you guys know the deal for this. Just drag on a Gaussian blur. Actually, you know what? You can drag on any type of blur. So I'm gonna try radial. See what that looks like. Radial blur. There it is. So if I, did, I'm just gonna solve this. Yeah, that'll be, that'll that'll look cool on a cinematic. I'm just gonna bring this down to like six. Okay, now go to element. Go to custom layers, custom texture maps, and just put the video clip on. I'm just going to rename this to Frozen. No, whatever, I don't care if I spell it wrong. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. Go to scene setup. Go to environment. Uh, change this to video clip. Okay, now go to import. Find your, um, where you put your text. So mine's on my desktop, FND text to it. There it is. Okay, there it is. And as you can tell, it's gray and ugly. What we got to do is click on the click on this little image thing and click on auto normals so it should load up pretty quickly and there we go now we can see it's 3d and you can kind of see a few of the pieces are kind of extracted right there like that one and uh, yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create we're just gonna put a basic um, basic material on it so I'm just gonna put this metal maybe mm, I don't know gold Maybe a silver. Yeah, sure, we'll do silver. And just, yeah, that's about it. So I'm just going to leave that. Okay, just let, let it load up. I think it's done. Nope, still got black bills. Okay, there we go, it's done. And it's really, really freaking shiny, so I might need to change that after, actually. But I'm just going to go on my track now, hit P for position, go to element, and go to group one, particle replicator, and C position, I'm going to set it to 3300. Okay, it should be here now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Really small. Okay, group. Uh, I'm just going to go particle look, and I'm going to set this. I'm going to actually bring this forward a bit, so I'm going to do 2,500. I'm going to put this position to about 60. Okay, I might have to change that, just because it's way too shiny. I'm going to bring this a bit forward. Okay, I'm actually going to go change that, because that's way too shiny. I can't stand that. Okay, um, what's something, yeah, like a rusty, something, uh, I just need something that I can see better. Actually, what I can do is I can just turn off my environment layer, so default. Yeah, so I'll just turn off my environment layer, that'll probably be better. Go to metal, and I'm just going to put the metal grudge, that one. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, that's good. Because that was way too shiny. Just let it load up. 
Should take a few. Okay, there we go. Now that's better. Okay, now I can actually see the text. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down. Go to rotation. And make the X like that. I'm going to bring it up a bit. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, I just want to do something random. And I'll set, like, the Y position. Whoa, what is it doing? Okay, I'll, I'll leave that. that. That's good for now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the element. Rename this one wireframe. Okay, go to the wireframe one and then go to output. Composite, change it to, oh wait, no. Polygon mode, change it to wireframe. Okay, so now if I um, solo this, we have a little wireframe of our text. And actually what I'm gonna do first is go to, I'm gonna delete the wireframe because I wanna do something first. So I'm gonna go to group one, go to multi object, enable it. And I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna change the random rotation ever so slightly. So the pieces are broken. So that's good. Now we see the pieces are broken. I'm gonna displace the Y tiny, tiny bit. And the Z, I'm gonna put it to like 0.05. So it's kind of displays just a tiny bit, so it has that nice little shatter effect. Okay, so now I can duplicate the element. So get rid of this. Okay, duplicate the element. Now call it wireframe. You want to spell it right. Okay, now go to output and go to normal and change it to wireframe. Okay, so now we have the wireframe one because if I turn off my element, it's just this wireframe, it looks pretty cool. Now what I want to do is go to my element one Go scene setup and replace it with a white. Okay, so now we have a white wireframe and a regular looking text. So just let it load up. Okay, so now you can see that. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to turn off my element and just have the wireframe. Okay, I'm going to make a new solid, call this map gonna turn it off so I can see what I'm gonna do is mask um, a little section okay yeah I'll mask a little section of this just like that okay and I'm gonna keyframe this so hit M and I'm gonna go over Maybe like three, uh, no, like forty frames. So one, two, three. Actually, I'll go over like five seconds. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, that's good enough. And I don't know why I made a keyframe there. Okay, so I'm gonna set a keyframe here, and on this keyframe, I'm gonna make it go like that. So it slowly comes across the screen like that and then I can just like move the mask completely off the screen so we don't need to worry about it anymore okay that's good and I can trim this up hit F for feather make it uh, 15 pixels actually go back to you and put a keyframe here a uh, marker sorry and a, key, and a marker there okay now I'll leave that brag the mat Drag the mat over the element, go to one, and turn the element on. Let's give it a second to load. Turn the wireframe off just so I can pay attention to this. And then go to alpha inverted map. Okay, so now it turns off, go to wireframe, turn that on. And now as you can see, the element is coming in slowly. So the element is, here, is there right now, because if you look, we have the element there and we don't have the element here. So now what I can do as well, so I can duplicate this mat, mat once again, drag it over the wireframe, and then make it alpha mat. So now, that looks pretty cool, eh? Yeah, yeah, it does. Now, what else we can do is make a new adjustment layer. Rename this to CC Light, and we can trim this up. Okay, now type in CC Light Sweep. Drag that on. Go to Cutout. 
Oh, whoopsies. I'm just gonna add to add. Sorry, because I'm used to doing it for the grid effect. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my mat on and I'm gonna try to see the rotation. So I'm actually gonna just turn that on completely. To try to see the rotation that the mat has. So I think that's good. Okay, now I can turn my mat off. I can keyframe the center. Okay, go to two, put my mat on and I see it ends right there. Where is my thing? Whoopsies. Drag that over like that and that should be good. Now what else I can do is duplicate this mat once again and I can alpha, alpha mat that. So now Oh, so you still have the mat on. Okay. So now if I go through, it only goes over the mat and it looks pretty cool. And yeah, look at that. Wow. And actually what I can do is I can delete that mat. I can duplicate the element. This is even cooler. Hopefully this works. I think it will. And I can alpha mat the element so it only shows up on the text. I think that will work. Oh wait, I gotta turn that off. So let's go through. Yep, yeah, now it's only showing up on the element and that is awesome. So I can trim this up so it goes like that slower. Okay, so that's how you do the effect. I'm just gonna ram preview this on like quarter. So it's a pretty sweet effect. It might take a while to ram preview it. But yeah, this effect looks really cool. And in the example, Okay, in this example, he had um, it do this, but afterwards, right here, it went back to wireframe, and you can do that too. All you gotta do is just delete the mat, and or you make it fade out again. So just make the mask go back over, so it starts going over. Just make it go back over, so it's wireframe once again. We see it from the behind, and uh, yeah, so that's about it for the tutorial. I'm just gonna let this run preview, and once it's done, uh, you'll see it, and it looks really sweet. So. Uh, expect this to be in a few like on my montages and motion tracks that I'm going to do in the future. And yeah, look at that. That is awesome. Just like glowing away. Okay. Yeah, so enough like freaking out. Let's just let this load. And it should go faster now because it doesn't have to do as much keyframing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. So go through. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And have a nice day, guys. See you guys. Bye.